All right, and I am live. Good morning, everybody. Saturday, November 16th, 2019. Who shall be first through the gate today? Up to the uh, starting gate. Let's see. Pretty Mama, how you doing, honey? Nice to see you. Happy Saturday to you. I hope everything is going good for you, Mindy. JJ Superstar. Light Beach is life. What a great name for a uh, channel. Pardon me while we're uh, filling up. Chris, I got your thing. I'll be sending you uh, my uh, digits in a couple minutes here. As soon as I get off the live stream. Mm -mm. Hello, Beryl Nocturnal Digit Nocturnal. <laughs> Nocturnal denizen. Um, Beryl, uh, <clears throat> good afternoon from the great United Kingdom over there. Valerie Looney, nice to see you. Good morning to you, honey. Send me cake. I'm going to come there and we're going to bake a cake. We're going to bikini bake right at the van there in uh, New Mexico. That's what we're going to do. The, the cake is delicious this morning. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I've had two pieces, this is my second piece. <laughs> I need to have all of my energy. J Money, good morning to you. Shania Twain, good morning. Uh, looks lovely, the cake, I caught up on the making of it early. A fun night last, uh, fun night last night. And, uh, hey Penny Pincher, you know, I'm not, I'm not one to, um, you know, I, I like to chat to kind of freewheel last night, and it did, and it was a lot of fun. I kind of highlighted Nomadic uh, <clears throat> Ninja because I'm I'm a person that enjoys his uh, content. I enjoy his live streams, uh, and he is he is legit a van dweller, lovable rogue. Good morning to you, Maggie. Yeah, the cake the cake turned out wonderfully. And, uh, yeah, Chris is the real deal, Nomadic Ninja. Mm-hmm. So, you know, <clears throat> you know, Nomadic Ninja, you know, Elvis not it's, it's irrelevant to me. I love cake so much. So I wish I will see about uh, Missy Jen. Well, there she is. There's Missy Jen. Give everybody a wave, Jen. There she is, the beautiful yeah. Missy Jen over there. Sure. How you doing, Tess? Nice to see you, sweetie. Good morning to uh, you. Good morning, uh, Tammy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I'm here from the cake for the cake. So I'm enjoying that. Uh, there's the, there's the Missy at her station over there, enjoying her morning, her Saturday morning. And uh, I'm sure she'll grab a piece of cake. Uh, uh, she'll grab a piece of cake later. So, you know, fun night last night. It's everybody. It's not everybody's cup of tea. We talked about uh, travel plans and uh, things to do in the future coming up on the uh, channel. I don't know. I mean, it's a lot of it's a lot of back and forth. You know, one minute is one minute. I'm told is important to go to uh, courtside to the big to the, to the big meetup and the big tent event, and the next minute I'm told it's important to go down to Tijuana. <laughs> I can't I can't keep stuff straight. Good morning, J.K. No Cal from the Great Sonoma County, California. The place J.K. No Cal lives will forever be known. As the place that the uh, fire department drew the line and said not one, not one inch forward on the, um, <clears throat> not one inch forward for the fires. I think it's the thing some of fake, but even though, I've, well, that's what I'm saying. I think it kind of surprised him. Uh, Chris, when I told, <laughs> when I started showing him all the videos that you had on your uh, uh, van build, and I mean, that's, I think that's why I particularly enjoy your content, because you are a, a legit van dweller, uh, and they are a special breed on YouTube. What is on the agenda today? A big agenda today. I did Sesame Sun. <clears throat> a lot of people still don't realize 
that I have a third channel that is adult content rated. It's not lewd. It's just fun. You can go over there and watch it. Rosie McNamara channel. I do all of my uh, baking, all of my uh, Space Girl videos. And there's nothing more I like than shooting Marshall. Taking prisoners for Planet Triple X. How you doing, Jay Holly? Hello, Nature Man. I'm doing very well. Uh, had a few beers last night, so I slept very, very well. So I'm feeling all charged up today. Um, ready to put a good day's effort. Uh, a good day's effort, like the gun. I thought it was sub. We'll treat, yeah, recheck. Rosie McNamara is the channel. So we have three channels. I have three. Uh, the Rosie O'Kelly channel, which is a flagship uh, channel, I probably will never have this channel uh, monetized, which is okay. Number two, I have the Rosie Murphy channel, which I'll do live streams once in a while. I'm not one to pump things, uh, you know, twice or so a week I'll use that uh, channel. Because uh, it's fun to do live streams on that channel. Hello, Hippie Peace. Hello, Ginger. Nice to see you. Harvey, how are you this morning? Bella Rose, the Queen of Buffalo. And then the third channel. I should have done that years ago. Just segregate my, uh, my content over there for just fun. So three different channels. And then, of course, we have um, the lovely, hey, Golden State. We have the lovely and beautiful Missy Jen who has Jen and Rosie Reality TV. So really we have four channels that are coming out of the uh, Rancho. Jen and Rosie Reality TV highlights Missy Jen's life. It showcases her and the, act and the activities that she likes to do uh, here on the Rancho. I'm Nomadic Ninja's mom. Hey Susie, how are you? Good morning to you. I hear so much about you. How you doing? Um, I'm going to go, Robert says, Jen and Rosie Reality TV is my favorite. Let me uh, go to uh, Susie's channel here. <clears throat> Let me, yeah, Susie's full-time van life. There's another uh, vanner, and Susie, I'm subbing up. She has 660 subscribers, and you go to her um, playlist and uh, yeah, there's Susie there. So every day she's putting up content. Uh, happy Halloween, two weeks, not every day. Uh, first time making cucumber salad, the boys meet cash, doggy dog, uh, doggy door, woo. So I mean, they're these, these van dwellers, which I think is particularly interesting. It looks like you have a beautiful van, uh, Susie, uh, what's that, the Waldock, uh, they're a beautiful van that you keep in nice condition. So I'd like everybody to uh, encourage everybody to sub up to those uh, two uh, channels. Uh, you may not like everything that, um, everything that Chris says on his uh, channel and the opinions that you have on there but in my in my opinion good morning if i missed anybody hello brandon good morning to you in the great state of uh, florida hello carlos good morning to you happy saturday carlos brary good morning to you uh so check it out we got nomadic ninja and susie's full-time van life and as i've told people before i'm not nobody gets the royal boot just for showing up but if you uh uh, uh, I'm the kind of person you can say anything if you choose the correct words and it, uh, you're not um, uh, particularly harsh and vulgar with language then it's, it's, it's all good on the uh, channel. That's the way I feel about it. I'm not going to uh, give people the royal boot because uh, they're growing their channels and, um, I mean, there might be a day I can meet uh, <clears throat> Nomadic Ninja up in Quartzsite or the Big Tent event. I don't believe he's that far um, from being uh, near that. Good morning, Jen Jen. How are you, beautiful? Nice to see you. I'm in Florida. Just pick some oranges. I'll be picking oranges soon. Good morning, Survivor. How you doing, sweetheart? 
Our orange trees, our flagship tree is the Robertson Naval. It's a naval orange tree. Uh, the cold helps to set things a little bit on that and sweeten the juices inside of it. It's, uh, it's a very foggy morning out there today, and the sun will be coming out. So, um, uh, as I've told people before, this is a working rancho. Our goal is to produce about uh, one half of a ton of fruit here. Uh, and we will be giving that, uh, donating that uh, uh, food to, uh, the, that fruit to charity. I really need to place some food trees on, plant from some fruit trees on my land. They, Fitz, they require a lot of work. You know, especially out here where you have a rainy season. I have about uh, a half, it's, it's a length of a football field on one side. And half the length of a football field on the other side, uh, other sides over there. So it's a big piece of land. I do not want to uh, put a lot more hay gone. I don't want to put a lot more fruit trees on there um, here in Titusville. The police have a good relationship with homeless. We're going to take some bags of oranges to pass out or some food. Good for you, Sesame Son. Good for you. Yeah, Dwarf, make sure you plant the uh, dwarf varieties. Come December, when I get back from my holiday, my Thanksgiving holiday, I'm going to have to do a lot of pruning. I like to, I like to keep the trees low and uh, bushy on there. So dwar dwarf uh, trees work out pretty good. Make sure that they are marked correctly at the other house I planted a uh, Canary Island palm and they told me it was a dwarf variety. Well, it's going to be the biggest tree in the neighborhood. It's crazy. It's, it's absolutely huge. Uh, huge. Uh, Beryl said, I wish I could grow oranges. All I managed to grow was potatoes this year. I think you need to have an indoor, uh, you need to have an indoor greenhouse, I think, to successfully grow citrus in uh, the United Kingdom. So, uh spread the love that's right so once again if if you're on one of the various channels i like to have a freewheeling chat i like people to have their uh, opinions plant a moringa tree do you think the moringa tree would go here uh harvey yeah uh, harvey popped on early uh harvey says cloudy all day no damn sun it's just the influence of the uh, weather there harvey over the UK, but you know what, Harvey? It creates a very tough stock. The The English people are very tough and they're weather resistant and uh, they don't care if they have to put on their, uh, what do they call their raincoats over there? Uh, their, Mac and, their Macintosh, I don't know, their Mackinaws or whatever. I've done the research. Hi, Nathan. Good morning to you, sweetie. The hardest working baby doll in Toronto, Canada. Here is the cake. I'm going slow on my second piece here. But you can see how, how nicely that turned out. It's got a very luscious icing on it. The uh, cream cheese. Uh, yes, yeah, Fitz says, my problem is deer and other wildlife. I might uh, buy a shed and do uh, hydroponics. Uh, Kagoules or Macintoshes, uh, exactly, exactly. So it turned out, uh, it turned out well. I cannot complain. Uh, let's see, uh, but I'm sure Marshall will find something to critique <laughs> on the cake. If I do it, it's not as good as the other one. Hey, Melinda, how are you doing, baby? Mm, there's a channel, another channel. Melinda Brock's Cooking and Crafts. Make sure to sub up her channel uh, too, okay? This stream is all about supporting other people, content creators that are putting out uh, content. I know, thank you, Andrew Scott. Thank you very much. I know that it's very difficult when you're starting out. And it's um, frustrating. You know, I'll have people write me and, uh, and uh, you know, 
uh, what do you do to grow a channel and this and that and the other? And I've always told people this channel is the biggest fail in the history of YouTube per video that I upload. And there have been over 12,000 videos uploaded over seven years across four different channels. And as a result, with all that work and effort to have uh, just shy of 23,000 uh, subs, do the math. You know, do the math. It's like a disaster. <laughs> so you got to love what you're doing. The thing is, just be persistent. There's a lot of people out here. Uh, there's a lot of people out here that start out and they get frustrated. Uh, they want to get the monetization and it's, it's very hard. The first hundred subs uh, is difficult. The next thousand is a little easier and then you kind of double over to, you know, you double if it took, uh, if it took a year to get to a thousand, then it will take a half a year to get to 2000, then a quarter of a year to get to 4000 and it'll scale on up from there. But a lot of people want to reap the rewards of being content creators without going through the hard work of, uh, building a channel. And I think that that's very frustrating to, uh, people. Uh, when they fire up a chat and they have five or seven people on the chat. Well, uh, you know, when I started out, that's about all I had on the uh, chats was five to seven people. That's about it. Thank you, Melinda. I appreciate that. And he says, so, you know, just keep uploading, Harvey. Do some more of your vintage audio stuff. I just recently started cooking with an air fryer. I'm in love. I may never use my frying pan. You know, I'm going to get one of those, an air fryer. Uh, what's your, what is your, uh, yeah, now the new YouTube algorithm, Zoe Bay, what is your thoughts on what's going to happen on YouTube? Uh, YouTube is totally turning into advertiser driven platform, meaning that they're going to do, let's, let's imagine this scenario. Uh, one live stream when I post, they change the rules and you need a thousand subs. I, I, I hear you, Penny. Let's imagine that we're, uh, let's imagine that uh, uh, Susan Wojcicki, who is the chairwoman uh, or the uh, chief executive of YouTube, periodically she has to go over to Mountain View, California, about 20 miles, 15, maybe about 10 miles south of uh, um, San Bruno, and she has to meet with the executives of Google and appear at board meetings and things like that. And you better believe at those board meetings that they have at Google, the number one, the number one prime directive is not content creators. It's not trolls, so-called trolls on YouTube. It is uh, shaping YouTube to fit the desires of advertisers. And you better believe in sub meetings and things like that on a board of directors on a on a working level they have subcommittees that they have people from Ford they have people from McDonald's Procter and Gamble all Johnson and Johnson all the big hitters are sitting there and they're just telling them you know what we're sick and tired of uh, our advertising being uh, linked to uh, you know hate bullying and uh, things of that nature. So YouTube is is running scared, and they're also scared of the COPA, the Children Online Protection Act, too. It's it's serious business, and you better make sure you tag your channels. Good morning, Mouse Toes. You better make sure you uh, fill in those bubbles on is your channel directed to uh, children or not. They're taking that very seriously on YouTube. Now, a lot of people will tell you, uh, just barely found you last year in uh, your chat, so thank you, Golden. If they stop dropping non-commercially, they're cutting off their own nose. That's what I said, Brary. The, you have what's called the farm system. We know in baseball you have sandlot, you have pony league baseball. Then you go up to sandlot baseball. Then if you're good, you get to sign on with a triple, with a A, uh, a level A ball team, then you step up to double A, triple A baseball, 
And if you're good, you keep graduating till one day you get called up to the bigs. Okay, and that's to me the the content creators that are starting out are like the farm system. You never know what's going to come out. Hey, Scott. Hey, ghost player. You never know what's going to come out of that farm system. Okay, and therein lies the big big risk for YouTube when you do things like cut off at a thousand subs. Somebody who's very creative could look at that and say, ah, nuts to that. It's not even worth uh, going down that. It'll, t it'll take me a year to get a thought. And they don't do it. And YouTube is the loser uh, for that. So uh, we'll see how it goes. You know, when advertisers sit in the driver's seat, it's not always a good thing. Not always a good thing when they're in control because creativity and um and and uh and monetization don't always go hand in hand okay it you know and it surprises me i mean i i click on the uh you know i, lo I love to look at you know good looking women just like everybody else does uh, you know click on that and I see the naked weather girls and these are beautiful full figured uh, girl and they're totally naked presenting on uh, YouTube. So I guess it de all depends on the uh, situation. There's tons of naked massage videos, all kinds of things on uh, YouTube. So it's kind of weird the way they, uh, it's weird the kind of way they see things, but I don't think that those things will monetize anyway. I mean, I, I saw some uh, girls, I don't know what it was called. Uh, let's see, my best friend and I swap uh, micro bikinis and I mean the these these girls these girls were just barely and I mean barely covering up the points of interest on the map you know what I'm saying just barely and uh, it's surprising because they are they are monetize this they were switching the bikinis this one girl literally had looked like green electrical tape on her uh, nips and a strip down below they look like a script a strip of uh electrical tape too so it's it's really weird on uh youtube what flies and what doesn't they'll tell you it's all context contents context yeah i was watching this lady magician who stripped naked on youtube this that's, that's what i'm talking about so you never really know yeah scott clark's like points of interest <laughs> yeah there's so there's a lot of ways to uh do that so you, i think it's all a contextual thing if you just randomly uh you know put up a video uh you know if i'm if i'm to go and buy those strips of electrical tape or whatever and put something like that up on rosie murphy i may or may not get a strike on something like that uh i probably would because contextually it doesn't fit what my channel's about and that's what youtube is all about full oh, breast and nipples if you just breast cancer diagnosis uh videos good morning eddie and she was hairy down there. Well, that's okay. Hey, Molly. That's what Marshall's like. Uh, you know, my friend Ray in Chicago is like, uh, better not get any uh, any of your uh, lower hairs onto the uh, cake. And I'm like, dude, there ain't none down there. <laughs> I mean, you can't possibly wear what I wear and, <laughs> and have that. So yeah, you asked me, and there's your. So they want to beat YouTube into a uh, into a G and PG rated platform, in my opinion. Since since you asked, uh, and we'll see what happens. Not the pro. What's the cost is so far on Marshall's van overhaul? I would say it's something on the order of about. Uh, um, with ply, marine plywood and all that, I, I would say that we're north of, we're, we're about 300 to $400 so far. Remember, <clears throat> the cost of the van build is not in the things like framing and paneling. The cost of that van build is in things like uh, cushions, things like buying a mattress, 
that's where the real that's where the meter flies upward okay not framing two by fours at my local place are about three dollars a pop i use a huge uh build you know a place that's, that uh, just deals with contractors um yeah there's not i mean if you look at it you got some flooring you got some luan that stuff is cheap okay and some of the stuff was free some of that uh material yeah labor would be very costly so there ain't a lot of money do you think he will sell the van there's no way there's no way that uh, uh he'll sell that van Ferrari says some other platform will come on scene and then YouTube will go the way of MySpace. I'm not sure, Ferrari. The reason in being is YouTube controls 60 to 65% of the internet search engine. As such, they're always going to feature their own videos in search. Okay, They're always going to subtly and not so subtly direct people to their own platform i've seen so many places so many uh, sites come along so many com creators complain i'm leaving this site and they always come back okay because the other sites fail they don't get the view counts that uh uh jen jen said would the lumber company give you a discount if you gave them a shout out no because the materials purchased there jen jen aren't really expensive um no uh, i i think the van will be kept you know, I mean, it'll it'll just be nice, and it'll be very fitted out, clean in the interior, and then it'll be up to Marshall. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that he may be so incented when the thing is done that uh, he won't ever let it go to the point that it used to go to before. Do I think that'll happen? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, does all content have to be kid rated after December 10th? No, no, it doesn't have to be. But you have to identify whether your channel contains content that may be directed or features uh, kids. And of course, my channel never does on here. I gave a t-shirt company a shout out and got a free t-shirt. Uh, let's see, Mom, Rosie will put the fear of God in the big one, bacon delicious pastries. There you go, Chris. So uh, that's only my opinion. I could be wrong. I probably will be wrong about the state of uh, YouTube, but I've been kicking around here seven years, and every year it's gotten tighter and tighter and tighter in terms of what content that uh, you can put up. Morning, Fundy, the new novelty, feeling may wear off. Yeah, old habits are very difficult to break, Fundy. As much as I try to keep the front bedroom on the rancho, what I call the city view room here, clean on the rancho, I always inevitably, after two weeks, will find clothes on the bed and stuff on the floor. It's very, it's difficult. Are you going to do anything else to the flooring? Yes, we're going to put a nice finished flooring down, uh, cute kitty. I'm going to use Fix It All, which is a great compound to fill any and all cracks and level. I will be using a scree, which is a board, that a uh, very wide board with a very sharp edge. You put the compound down and you scree or pull that across the uh, compound. And it fills all the uh, all the depressions and any uh, micro unevenness on there, and it dries quickly, and it doesn't shrink when it dries. What did YouTube really want from content creators? A liberal base? Well, you got to remember, much to people's uh, <clears throat> dismay, let's just say if YouTube was based in uh, Jackson, Mississippi, okay and the executives were in Jackson, Mississippi, you can bet that the content allowed on YouTube would be much different in the way of uh, politics and, and speech and things like that. But because, hey, Deb, how you doing, sweetheart? Okay, I listened to your chats. Yes, I do. I did not see the latest one, though, but I have to say, Deb, you're really looking lovely. I love the Instagram pictures that... Uh, you put up your beautiful woman uh, and I, I enjoy it so you know YouTube being based in San Bruno California which is about 60 miles south of here um, they're in a they're in the Mecca of liberalism in the United States 
and they have and they embrace all the values of countercultures and uh, lifestyle differences uh, sexual orientation, everything on there. So you often see these hillbillies on some of the chats on boy, and they're, they're talking about it's terrible that this is allowed on and that's allowed on, but it's the reality of, of, uh, it's the reality of life. And oftentimes their own personal prejudices and hate is coming out in, uh, in that. Oh no, your channel was hacked. What? Are you kidding me, RB Debs? All that work? Let me go over here. Did you hear that? What? RB Debs channel was hacked. Heck Good man. lord. Okay. Deb, do you use a two step process for verification? Oh, you were locked out. Did you write to YouTube? Yeah, it's, it's putting out heat right now. Deb, did you write to YouTube and um, um, and let them know? Uh, okay, good. I'm sure you'll get it back, Deb. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. I can't get I can't get away from conservative videos on YouTube. How you doing, Bella? Deb, I feel quite certain they'll straighten it out. You should have a backup. You should have another channel, too, and uh, dedicate that to maybe cooking or, you know, uh, build up. There's there's the hand of doom. Uh, there's the hand of doom. They want your feedback on the cake when you try that. So, The hand of doom. Beware. I saw the fake uh, bully. When you come in here, you have a wrench, so. Um, we'll hope that I'm quite sure, Deb, that they'll get that straightened out for you. You should have the two-step verification process. What does that mean? Some nights I wake up, and uh, some mornings I wake and up, I'll get notification that somebody in Peoria, Illinois, tried to access your uh, account. Okay, do you or do you not know this person? The problem is. When they try to access the account, every time I log on, Google sends a specific six-digit code to my phone, okay? And unless you put that code in, you will be locked out of the, uh, locked out of the account. You can imagine these days, I'm a pretty big target for, uh, uh, for people that want to create uh, some mayhem and using that two-step process is really really your ultimate protection against being hacked on your uh, on your phone okay everybody should be using that every time you log in you put your gmail or your other whatever your uh, username or whatever in and then uh, you go to put your password in or whatever and then they'll send you a uh, verification code and unless you have that verification code there ain't no way that they're gonna be able to get into uh, your account never open attachments on emails I have trolls that send me things oh you won't believe uh, you know what Marshall did here's a, here's a website that has his greatest hits on it never click never open those uh, kind of things okay never ever 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 you can open things on uh, the YouTube platform is very very protected okay people will tell you false information well this guy came in and he was horrible on, on the chat and we captured his IP address. Total and complete nonsense. YouTube would have been out of business years ago with all the lawsuits of uh, people's IP addresses. YouTube has outstanding firewalls. Susie, you need to set that up. Okay, you need to have that two-step process that no matter where you are, when you go to log in, and if you're in a different location, a different state, it's your best protection. Uh, you enter in that code, and then you're good to go. Okay? Don't break your phone, but you can always, your SIM card will always be there. So you might be locked out of your account for a week or two while you get a new phone. 
but it should uh, it should be uh, Harvey. You got to get that. You've got to get the two-step process. It put an end to all the nonsense on my uh, on my channel because I was getting three or four people a week uh, get notifications. You know, somebody in South Bend, Indiana, accessed attempted to log on to your Google account. Do you know this person? And, um, you know, you just put no and all that. Yeah, there it is. Uh, well, now you know, Deb. So when you are when you do get your channel back, which you will, because you have a ton of content, you have a ton of followers, you will absolutely positively get your uh, channel back. <clears throat> Make sure you go into your settings area and under account access and it'll give you an option to set up uh, protection for your channel. Uh, Scott says, Rosie, how come you don't use Messenger? YouTube disabled Messenger. Okay, we're not allowed to really contact unless you're uh, one of the people that was on the Google Hangout uh, chat. So, okay. <coughs> Do you and your sidebar think President Trump will get impeached? Uh, no, George Kingfish Stevens. They'll, you'll never get 20 senators to, uh, you'll never get 20 Republican senators to agree to uh, impeach. It's all a, just a sideshow. It's all designed to pull away attention in an election year. Okay? And most people recognize for uh, what it is. I mean, what's the alternative? Kamala Harris? You know, uh, come on, really? Really? Happy Saturday, uh, Chronic. Nice to see you. That's my opinion. But you got to remember, here's the reality. Here's the reality. Think about this. Hillary Clinton got three more popular votes, three million more popular votes than Donald Trump, number one. Number two, Donald Trump won three electoral states by a combined total of 80,000 votes. The only thing you have to ask yourself is, do you think that 80,000 people will swing their vote in this election? Now, it kind of matters who's running against, but uh, 80,000 was a very, very slim margin to, uh, to, uh, to, to, um, very slim margin to win. Okay, there was it was by a, a razor's edge on that. So, yeah, thank you, Clearski. The cake turned out very well. I appreciate that. I'm having to, I'm on my second piece here. Mm. Well, Bert Pineapple says I think Trump will pick up more votes now. Hey, Goldie, you have to figure it this way. Look at what happened in the recent elections in Kentucky and Virginia. Okay? That should be worrisome to Trump, the way the Democrats picked up a lot of, uh, a lot of seats and things like that. That's right in the heart of uh, Trump country down there. So beware. Beware. Stay away from politics and religion. Thank you, Marshall. Uh, th yeah, thank God for the Electoral College. That's why it was de developed by the uh, framers of the Constitution. They were pretty smart people. Pretty smart people. Hillary and Trump are owned by the Jesuits. Hell, I was owned by the Jesuits. I went to a Jesuit college. <laughs> <laughs> the Jesuits run deep in me. Let's see. Uh, winning the arts in Iowa. Yeah, so be careful. Uh, he's a vet and also a gay, smart man. Don't worry about Kentucky. Yeah, Linda, don't worry about Kentucky, but Virginia is another matter. So I was, you asked me my opinion, and um, that is my opinion on things. You get little bellwethers along the, uh, along the way. There you go, Kitty says, I really want a piece of that coconut cake. Uh, <coughs> so good morning to you, uh, Marshall. We got a big, big day ahead of us today. Yesterday we wasted. I was angry. Hey, J.A., and I have to say, J.A., you are funny as can be. 
You made me laugh last night. And that's what I mean. I don't mind satire. People satire me. People parody me. Uh, putting up videos on the daily. You know, Rosie and Elvis getting married, blah, blah, blah. I, if you can't laugh at stuff like that. Okay, yeah, I'm owned by the Jesuits. Hello, Diaji. <laughs> Eat more cake. I just, I'd be embarrassed to show you the cake. It's half gone. <laughs> I mean, J.A., you are, you are an absolute uh, hoot, as is Lavender and uh, Missy. They are so, so, uh, they're, there's some people that are just so funny. So I, I try to roll with that. I try not to get upset about it. You know, you got to recognize on YouTube that no matter who you are, there's going to be uh, people that dislike you. And, you know, just just don't freak out about it. Just just go on. Don't be insulting. Don't clap back and, uh, and uh, uh, dish it out. Because with every clap back, back and forth, the tenor of uh, criticism and harshness grows and grows until you go nuclear. Then you have people calling, and I hope nobody goes down the road that Marshall and I have and other people, uh, I don't know, Lindy and other people that have, and people call your uh, families, calling your jobs, uh, and calling CPS on people. Man, it just reaches a, 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 a crazy level. Uh, Let's see, Chronic said, I fell asleep watching that, Rose. Good morning, Scottish. How are you, beautiful? Nice to see you. So there's my... Hey, Carolyn. <laughs> there's my opinion on Trump. Be very careful because you're skating on a very thin uh, margin uh, on that. Um, so, yeah, let's go on to another topic now. So thank you for last night. Uh, the weather window is closing here on the Rancho. What does that mean? <laughs> Even though it's going to be sunny today in the foreseeable future, I know when I get back from my holiday over Thanksgiving, we're going to be hitting the coldest time of the year. December is always the coldest month in Northern California because before the rainy season comes in, it's going to be miserable to work outside. Okay, so we really need to double time. It's not even a, it's not even a week and a half. It's about a week and a half till I take off, and I'm going to be gone for four or five days. So, um, as a result, if we don't push forward quickly and get the basic stuff done now, we can't afford to lose days like yesterday where my hormones are raging and uh, Marshall's aggravated about the state of the internet and stuff like that and we just basically separate for the rest of the day you know because I don't want to tear somebody's head off out there yeah eat cake Fundy said it can be fun to troll sometimes but taking stuff beyond the screen is just wrong well unfortunately Fundy it happens it happens but thank God <clears throat> YouTube knows that sometimes things go too far. YouTube is developing a system to be able to weed out what they call origination ISP addresses and doing things to uh, prevent multiple accounts from being open uh, on YouTube. That's going to be the next thing. Because if you look at uh, uh, Susan Wojcicki, who's the executive officer of YouTube, she put that in her Things to Do for 2019-2020 Outlook, was to address bullying and harassment uh, on YouTube. Are you driving your van on a boondocking trip? Yes. As soon as we get the framing into the van for the uh, dinette, I'm going to go ahead and cut the uh, cut the insert boards for the uh, bed. That will enable Marshall to go out and overnight and uh, boondock the electrical system. Uh, you may not be able to be on generator power, but there'll be a cook stove and any. Uh, I think there'll always be troll accounts, Harvey. But it'll be it'll be very difficult to uh, uh, just overwhelm with. Uh, 
you know, 50, 100 accounts and all that. So go back and read some of the letters of some of her goals. Number one was child protection. Number two was alignment of channels to uh, advertising. And number three is to address uh, bullying and harassment on, uh, on YouTube. So those were the big things uh, to be accomplished. To me, I don't, you know, to me, I don't, <clears throat> most trolls are just people with strong opinions that want to have a layer of identity, identity protection that allows them to say things on YouTube that they would never dare to say in uh, real life to somebody, and that's fine. Uh, Susan Wojcicki must get tens of thousands of emails per day. I'm sure, yeah, she kind of ruined YouTube, I agree. Maddowick. She's, got, she's done a lot to uh, corporatize YouTube, forgetting, forgetting that it is a creative video sharing platform. And when you squeeze the roots like they're doing, you're going to have problems. What's a troll? A troll is somebody that won't leave you alone. Okay, a troll is somebody that consistently... Uh, fires up uh, chats or, or uh, creates new accounts to come on your channel and uh, harass you on a daily basis. That's my opinion of a, a troll. In other words, in other words, and simply put, if you don't like somebody's content, take care, Jen Jen. Hey, Rashid Mack, Rancho Rashid Mack, how you doing there, Rancho Rashid Mack? If you don't like somebody's content the logical thing to do on youtube is don't watch it you know don't watch it okay unsubscribe block and move on now given that option you know there's there's people that are obsessed on a daily level uh with the lives of uh marshall and i on a daily basis so i can only assume that they enjoy the content and like to be there on the uh, daily basis that's kind of my uh, what about people who carry guns and knives and brag about it? Um, yes, you are North Shore towing and you're funny as can be too. Um, in my opinion, anybody that has to brandish a weapon on YouTube, be it a knife, be it a, a, a handgun or a long arm, out of context of what their channel is, Okay, just for the sake of making himself or herself look like a, a tough guy or a tough woman. Um, it speaks volumes about the low opinion that you have of yourself in life. Now people will say, Rosie, Friday a week ago, you grabbed your, uh, you grabbed your Beretta and you were running around with your Beretta. Yeah. I mean, that was real life, okay? That's real life that just happened. I will protect myself on the rancho. But was it out of context to what was going on? No. I'm standing in a kitchen, full on in teeny weeny bikini mode, okay? Have no intention of going, running around the property, you know, 98% naked or whatever. But we have strong evidence visual and auditory that somebody has violated the rancho okay was my action appropriate in was my action appropriate in that situation and the answer is an unequivocal absolutely 100 percent was in keeping with what was going on at that time um, <clears throat> thank you, Melina. I appreciate that. I think that's the difference. Uh, you know, because I had a ton of people uh, that wanted to strike that. Oh, you know, YouTube hates people, you know, weapons. And you know, a ton of people flagged that uh, channel. You know what? YouTube didn't care because it was in the context of what was going on uh, within that channel at that uh, at moment. But I don't like people that just... <clears throat> you know, we'll get their, get their weapons and, you know, anybody who comes near my place is going to get blah, blah, blah. 
uh, I'm going to blow them away. And that's threatening. That's just naked threats on, uh, on YouTube. And that, that stuff will not, not, not be tolerated. Okay. That's a difference. You can have real time context or you can have just uh, brandishing a weapon just for the sake of trying to put out the message that you're a tough guy or a tough girl. Uh, why have you been shut down before, uh, George? Too much skin, too many ears. Some I've been uh, terminated and brought back on YouTube five times the same channel. Half the time, too much skin, maybe a nip slip you didn't notice or something like that. Then the other things were things that happened on Hangouts, okay? Some things that people slipped and said on, on Hangouts that got flagged. For instance, <clears throat> one time, Tara and I were discussing old movies. And Tara asked me my favorite movie. And of course, it's Gone with the Wind. It's a technically incredible movie. The cinematography is light years advanced. The technology of colorization, Technicolor, was relatively new. The storyline was compelling. The actors were outstanding in the movie. It had the whole, whole deal, and it had a great novel that many people had read before Gone with the Wind came out as a movie, okay, from Margaret Mitchell. Tara and I love old movies. Uh, yeah, I don't, Matt, oh, I don't mind. I'll talk to that in a minute. Tara and I love old movies, and we were discussing it. <clears throat> and uh, either she or I quoted a line out of the movie to discuss racism then and racism now. Well, it got flagged. And I received a strike on that. Therefore, over the last month, I virtually stripped out every single uh, space girl, uh, you know, the uh, bikini bag, all that kind of stuff. I've stripped all that stuff out. Not that I'm rushing for monetization, but I want to get in the spirit of what YouTube is about. Now, and I went ahead in May and I set up the Rosie McNamara uh, channel. So now I combed through over 7,000 videos. It took me over 22 hours to go through those videos one by one by one by one by one and check every single one of those uh, videos, okay? That's the downside of having an extremely large... Uh, database, but that's it. Now, you're missing Super Chats. Yeah, I am. But my main objective as Marshall, uh, you know, confirmed and verified, I'm not on here to uh, make my channel big, to grow into some <clears throat> about views and things. But there are people that get pissed off because I do get a lot of views. So they assume that you're just doing it for the views. Okay, because remember, to a person with a hammer, everything looks like a nail. If they dislike you, they will look for every nail that they can find hanging in the wall to pound in. Okay, and the hard work of many years on the channel came first. And the views followed. Plus... If you allow other people to dictate the content that you put up on YouTube or to hang out with the people that you want to hang out, you're giving people power over your happiness and your life. A huge, huge, huge mistake. <clears throat> uh, I'm not sure, Bruce, about that. Um, so there it is. Uh, the new Adam Sand Sandler movie. It's supposed to be, I hope that answers the question. So I put a lot of time, detail, and attention. I've been back and forth in YouTube. They uh, they issued a warning strike on a playlist that's empty. <laughs> it's <laughs> It didn't come from a person. It came from, uh, came from YouTube. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, there's nothing in the playlist. <laughs> so I'm working with them now to get, uh, I mean, God, man, it's like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just never know what's going to happen on YouTube. It was called my <clears throat> my favorite uh, memories of 2013-14, and there's I basically gutted it. So it's kind of funny, <clears throat> but we'll see how that turns out with uh, with YouTube. Thank you, Chronic. Good morning, Mike Jordan. Nice to see you. 
So it's weird. Automated intelligence has a lot of fails to it, too. And there's something in the automatic uh, flagging that uh, makes mistakes once in a while. And it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. So um, uh, so that was kind of, that's kind of funny on that. So what else do I need to talk about uh, today? Thank you to Cake. I've talked about the weather windows closing. The van build, I hope to be on that, uh, I hope to be cooking tonight. Um, I'm going to try to, uh, how you doing, Oda May? Nice to see you, baby doll. I want to, um, yeah, it can be tricked, Andrew Scott. I don't know. You know, I received a message, don't worry about it, we're looking into it, and things happen. It's the introduction of, uh, you know, computer-based processing on YouTube. Mistakes are bound to happen. Thank God you have humans sitting here that can review uh, things like that. So, uh, <clears throat> would like to do some cooking tonight. I would like to set up the uh, fire pit uh, out by the van, have some nice extra lighting, do some cooking, and do something a little different uh, tonight. You know, I don't know about smothered pork chops because knowing Marshall, it'll be a five hour proposition till I eat and I'll be dead. My bones will be picked over by the rats here. Uh, so we will see. There you go. Bella says, I'm going to hire you for my personal baker. Yeah, the beautiful Italian Bella Rose. So I would like to set that up tonight. That could be a, a lot of fun. I'll probably be live streaming the uh, van build today. It's Saturday. There's not a lot of stuff going on. So, um, setting up a nice set out there and having the table set up. I've got a nice uh, cook stove. Marshall and I, you know, if he wants to stream, that's fine. And I want to stream, that's fine. The fire pit going, give a little light. Give a little bit of uh, atmosphere. <clears throat> Maybe string up some party lights overhead. I bought some additional lighting yesterday. Just to make, uh, just to make things a little bit fun. And to switch it up a little bit. I've got so many requests. I'm sure Marshall does. Could you cook or do something outside? So, uh, <laughs> Missy Jens usually does all the barbecuing. So, what we'll probably do is uh, stop at around 5 p.m. today, get cleaned up, go to the store, uh, pick up some things to uh, make, and then. Uh, uh, start to stream and have a nice time sit around have the fire going I've got a lot of scrap wood that I've got to burn here uh, Diadu says I want to hire you to help fix my mobile grooming van uh, no, yeah fun is good so are you reading a book right you seem like a book reader I need to suggest the books I read JJ Superstar would would not be up your alley okay now I just say that because I spend my time reading a lot of uh, vacuum tube theory in audio and uh, audio repairs. I read a lot of technical manuals on uh, vintage audio and uh, things like that, Electric electrical theory, uh, high school and college textbooks uh, there. <clears throat> Carolyn's like, are you going to feed the prisoner? <laughs> <laughs> he said that sounds boring. Yeah. <laughs> my greatest screen capture, my greatest uh, community post would be actually uh, would be Elvis actually with a book in his hand. It wasn't upside down uh, reading. That would be uh, that would that would be funny. That would really really be funny. Uh, yeah, it did, Harvey. Uh, I like that very much. Thank you. <clears throat> Some kick. Yeah, I want to kick back tonight. It's I can't just go at this hammer and tongue every single day. Like I said, Marshall and I kind of got pissed off at each other yesterday, and we just, you know, it's like wrestling. The ref comes in break, and you just go into your separate. Uh, uh, you go into your separate uh, corners. Try eating a peanut butter and mayonnaise sandwich. I don't think I can get. I don't think I can get past the uh, uh, mayonnaise. Uh, okay, I'm not peanut butter and uh, mayo. I don't know. <clears throat> we make mashed taters. I don't know, Marshall. Smothered pork chops. I tell you. Number one, if you're cooking, 
which I got the stove, but number one, your hands better be meticulously clean. That's number one. Number two, you cannot take 60 cloves of garlic and throw it into a pork chop. Okay, all right, that's number two. I won't eat it. And number three, to me, it can't be a five-hour operation to put dinner on the table, okay? Because you tend to do things uh, very, very slowly when you were out at Janet's and she came in screaming after cooking for four hours to make a simple dinner. She came in screaming that the place smelled like a packy kitchen, okay? And no, yeah, good, 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 good hygiene, okay? Very, very important. You got to get used to... Uh, exercising. I mean, look at me baking last night. Uh, my, my cuts aren't uh, that horrendous now. I got some band-aids on, but I still gloved up with, uh, <clears throat> with gloves last night. Why? Because I want people to be, uh, to have the most sanitary conditions that they can have for uh, cooking. So it's fine. You want to cook the uh, pork chops? That's great. You know, um, you know, I've got a great cook stove, a dual burner, uh, cook stove. Yeah, Harvey, be, thank you, because I, may, I make it under very sanitary uh, uh, conditions. Hey, Jackie, why? Because you love the people that you're cooking for, and you don't want to ever take the chance on cross-contamination of filth from your hands, fingernails dropping into food that uh, people are going to, uh, yeah, no, no hands and hair or things like that. When I adjusted my hair last night, I just go like that, but I keep my gloves away. Uh, you know, it's just basic food handling. Yeah, it's easy to get sick from other people's barbecue. And let me tell you also, all right, take care, Chris. Uh, yeah, let's figure out where the salt guys. So, you know, I mean, uh, some people are very sensitive to food. My, I have a cast iron stomach. It's not going to bother me. Uh, yeah, cut your fingernails and, and uh, be neat. Uh, you know, act like you're on a cooking show. Act like you got invited, like Rosie and Marshall get invited onto the Iron Chef, right? And we're a team. <laughs> <laughs> Put that vision in your head for a couple minutes, right? We have team competition here on the Iron Chef. This is the RV Band Challenge Cook-Off, right? We have, it's station number one, Nomadic Fanatic and his cat, Jax. Meow. It's station number two, you know, right on that. station number nine. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie O'Kelly and Elvis Travels. Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> and let me tell all of you, we will dominate this competition. You oh so turkey pencil neck geeks out there. <laughs> Uh, I, the uh, show I had offers to be on, uh, just one was the Tosh O show uh, on Comedy Central, and I turned it down. But, he said, anytime you want to be on, hook me up. <clears throat> and I showed the card and, uh, and all that. So, so we will see, you know, um, what, what happens. So, yeah, okay. I'd like to kick back and just drink some beers and enjoy... Marshall cooking. He can stream it. I can stream it. Put some lights up, party lights, and have a really good time tonight. I need to change the pace. I can't keep doing the same crap every single uh, every single day. So we need to do something fun. Yeah, Gordon Ramsay would knock it. And let me tell you something, Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> Station number nine, we found an incident occur. We're down to one cook over in station number nine. Well, it looks like Rosie O'Kelly's going to have to carry the ball here. She can do it, man. This chick is tough. She's wired. She's up for the challenge. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> uh, yeah, Tosh 2.0. So we'll see, what, uh, we'll see what happens when I'm down there. I don't know. I, I got a call to, uh, you know, he wrote me a... Uh, <clears throat> 
uh, thing. You stream him while working. You, well, that's what I'm going to do, uh, Dawn. I'm going to be the safety patrol monitoring things. Hello, Dawn. Uh, I don't know, Fundy. You know, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. <laughs> The great RV cook-off, uh, Marshall. You just dropped those. Uh, you just dropped those beef cubes on the floor. It's all right, man. They won't notice. You're not going to be eating it anyway, Rosie. What do you care? <laughs> You're always too picky about the food. <laughs> oh, want a red restaurant? Very famous and uh, expensive. Uh, where do you get the money for that, Harvey? Where in the hell do you get the money for that? <clears throat> no problem, Fundy. Hey, Jasmine, how you doing, beautiful? Nice to see you. Um. Anyway, how long? Oh, I've been on about an I hate to go longer than an hour this morning. Once again, thank you. For the, uh, Missy Jen, how was the cake? Jen. Whew. Never mind. She... Oh, you didn't pay. How was the cake? I'd like to. Oh, you left a comment. Good, thank in you. The, in okay. The, uh, Wunderbar. In the earlier. Okay. Yeah, cool, in cool. The okay. Um, yeah, I did not pay. That's my four. That's my four best. Uh, my four most loved words in the English language. I did not pay. <laughs> Uh, go to the naked, naked Beach Bakers with the boys and girls where their birthday suits. See, I, I don't want the people in their birthday suits, okay? To me, it's much more sexy and much more exciting, you know. If uh, Rosie's in a bikini bottom, then it's better and other people are. <clears throat> All right, so, um, yeah, I'm not sure about the R. I mean, I'd like to go to the RTR. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to go around and hand out, the, you know, business cards. <laughs> Rosie O'Kelly, adventurer extraordinaire, <laughs> and then the people turn around. What a dick! <laughs> It'd be like, what a dick, you know. And I'm like, uh, I'd rather be, I'd rather just be drinking and sitting around a fire with people and having a, <laughs> having a good time, you know. How you doing, Cheryl? I hope you're doing good, honey. Uh, you know, to me, but I can I can go and have fun. We'll we'll see what happens, guys. We'll we'll see what you never happens. Know when you're gonna run into either. Girls look sexier. Absolutely. So do guys. You know, girls look sexier in some clothes. Yeah, take a teeny weeny. But beyond that, it's just not doesn't do as much. Uh, it doesn't do as much, and you know, I don't know if San Francisco is ready for my dangly bits. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta laugh, you know. <laughs> you don't want to draw too much attention. Goodbye, Melina. Absolutely, make sure you sub up Melina Brock's cooking and crafts. Also, uh, Yasmin J seventy five. She uh, does chats uh, with Harvey. I would really love to see uh, people over in her chats and, and uh, supporting her. Okay, she's a very nice, she's a beautiful trans gal. Uh, I should be so good, you know. She's lovely, and she does the uh, chat, and uh, it'd be nice to go over there. Harvey's always fun, you know. You never know what the hell is going to come out of Harvey's mouth, okay? So, all right. <laughs> Any event, I'm going to close it out, guys. i got a day of building to do. Uh, like I said, we'll probably stop at 5. We'll pop in the van. We'll go get cleaned up, and then, um, you know, I'll assist Marshall with the uh, uh, cooking tonight. I'll take care of the decor and the decorations and making sure that things are all uh, set up. And we'll just, we'll party into the night, and we'll have a good time. I love you guys, um, and thanks so much for being, being along, and thank you to those. Um, some pretty significant donations have come in. Uh, not for me, but for the uh, van build. They're very, 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 very appreciated. Uh, things are picking up uh, uh, steam. <clears throat> Keep putting out quality content, and uh, people will enjoy. Have a great day, everybody. Jackie Blue, YouTube Survivor, Molly, Mouse Toes, my lovely Mouse Toes, Otome. 
Uh, when's the barbecue? Um, what time is it now? It's 11 o'clock. It probably won't start till about 7 p.m. By the time we get the food and get set up and cleaned up, I want to get really cleaned up. It's going to be very cold outside uh, tonight. Uh, so uh, dress appropriately if you're going to be at the party. And uh, JK NoCal, I know you're watching, brother. If you want to pop down, sit around the fire and enjoy tonight, you and your gorgeous wife, you're certainly welcome. To come down tonight, it's bikini weather. I might surprise you, all right? Bella, thank you, baby doll. Say hi to Brad for me, please. And uh, thank you, Fundy, Shamaj, Sean Quinn, Charlene, everybody else. Have a, uh, have a wonderful day, okay? And if you can't be good, at least be funny, all right? Woo!